Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be exploring the tonal differences between the Ernie Ball Music Man Saber Classic and the Stingray Special Double Humbucker behind it back here. Let's do this. This is my Ernie Ball Music Man Saber Classic, one of my most cherished Ernie Ball basses that's not a Stingray. I absolutely love this bass, and these are very hard to find. I've already done several videos featuring my Saber, however this one is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be comparing this bass to the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Double Humbucker, the Stingray Special. Specifically, that is Pinky. Right behind up here, that is uh, my Stingray Special Double Humbucker BFR. Uh, that features the same type of woods as a regular Stingray Special, but a flamed roasted maple neck with a flamed roasted maple fingerboard and an awesome finish with uh, gold hardware all around. Tonally, it is identical to a Stingray Special Double Humbucker, so this should be a solid comparison. I believe the wood combination is relatively the same. Uh, I think the Saber has an ash body and the Stingray Special Double Humbucker does as well. Though the Stingray Special is significantly lighter at around 8.2 pounds or 8.5 pounds, whereas this one is I believe over 10 pounds. Quite a bit heftier. The hardware is completely different as well. We have the classic style mute bridge on the Sabre, where the Stingray Special has the newer style Stingray Special bridge with only three screws. It's a much smaller bridge with a much smaller footprint. The preamps are also entirely different, with the Sabre having a classic two-band preamp, and it's a 9-volt preamp on this control plate here, where the Stingray Special has an 18-volt three-band preamp. This is their new preamp. The pickups. They're also entirely different as well. The Sabre has a 16-pole neck pickup, which is similar to like almost two jazz bass pickups next to each other, uh, as opposed to the 8-pole on the Stingray, which, uh, you know, they kind of look similar there. And here, here, here's the Stingray. The bridge pickups are both 8-pole pickups, but I believe the winding may be a bit different. And the Stingray Special is featuring neodymium pickups, as opposed to the El Nico pickups that are in the Sabre. Now, both bases feature a 5-way selector switch, but positions 2 and 4 are entirely different between the Stingray Special Double Humbucker and the Sabre. Positions 1, 3, and 5 are the neck pickup, both pickups together, and bridge pickup, respectively. But on the Sabre, position 2 is just the rear bank of magnets on the neck pickup, and position 4 is what some people call Lakeland mode, with that same rear bank of magnets on the neck pickup combined with the full bridge pickup. The Stingray, on the other hand, has position 2 being, I believe, the inside coils, and then uh, position 4 being the opposite. So you have both inside coils in one position and then both outside coils in the other position, almost similar to that of a jazz bass. Well, enough talking. Let's see what these basses sound like back to back. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Hey, goody. I will be leaving the preamp centered on both bases. However, on the Sabre with the classic preamp, there is no center detent. So I'm kind of flying blind. I'm doing my approximate 50% here. Um, I'll also be comparing positions 1, 3, and 5 on the selector switch first on both bases, and then we'll compare positions 2 and 4 separately to hear the major differences between the two vastly different configurations on both. So, let's start with position 1 on this 5-way selector switch, that is the neck pickup for both bases. <laughs>
Next is position three. Both pickups are fully engaged. Here's what that sounds like for both basses. Next, here is position five. That is just the bridge pickup soloed. So on the Stingray, that will be a Stingray mode, the traditional bridge pickup placement. This is a little bit different though. Let's see if you can hear it. Wow, that sounds great on both bases. Next, let's explore the positions two and four on the selector switch. Position two is only selecting the rear bank of magnets on this neck pickup. There is a ghost coil to keep things silent, but this is essentially like a P-base mode. Position two on the Stingray, I believe, is the inside coils. So there's going to be a major tonal difference between the two. Here's what that sounds like. And next we have position four, which is Lakeland mode. We have the full bridge pickup engaged, and then that rear bank of magnets on the neck pickup. The Stingray's position four, I believe, is the outside bank of magnets for both pickups. Again, big differences tonally between the two bases for positions two and four. So here's position four on both bases. Next, I'll run through positions one through five with a pick, and then we'll slap her. Here's position one with my felt pick on both bases.
Here's position two. Position three. Here's position four. Position five. Now let's put the pick away and see how they slap in all five positions. First, position one. Here's position two. Position three.
position four. <laughs> and position five. <laughs> So here are my final thoughts on this tone shootout between our Sabre Classic and our Stingray Special Double Humbucker BFR. I think that both basses sounded absolutely spectacular. The Sabre Classic lives up to its classic name and absolutely sounds very old school. And the positions 2 and 4 on the 5 way selector switch sound absolutely old school and stellar on the uh, Sabre here. That being said, those same positions on the Stingray also sounded stellar, with the inside and outside coils being selected uh, for both pickups. I think that the Stingray definitely has a bit more punch. It's kind of just like a tonal throat punch where it just goes POW! Uh, where the Sabre is a bit more smooth. The Sabre does not need to resort to tonal violence. It is there to just chill and hang out, where the Stingray is all about uh, just breaking through any mix that it encounters. The 18 volt preamp on the Stingray absolutely kicks and uh, the classic two band preamp in the Sabre is a completely different animal. The neodymium pickups of the Stingray as well sound completely different from the Alnico pickups on the Sabre. So loads of differences, but some similarities. I thought that position five on both bases with the rear pickup selected sounded pretty much like a classic Stingray, with the Stingray Special having a bit more bite and clarity to it overall. But this definitely uh, wasn't a slouch either in the Sabre. Uh, overall, I think both are great basses, very different basses. The Stingray Special Double Humbucker is readily available, where the Sabre is very hard to find. Uh, let me know what you think about this tone shootout. I know they're apples and oranges, and I wouldn't really put these bases against each other, but one of you guys out there made this awesome suggestion to do this video, and I really like uh, comparing these two bases. It's very interesting to hear just the, you know, the tonal differences between both of them. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my Ernie Ball Music Man Saber Classic, as well as my Stingray Special BFR. And as always, until we groove again.